Hello, this is Civic Coder here. In today's video, I will teach you about uh, installation for Project Vue.js. So, as you can see, Vue.js is a JavaScript framework that you can also embed your events emitter on on your uh, HTML instead of jQuery. jQuery that is a very different of with the Vue.js, as you can see, we need to check the docs. The, the Vue.js difference is it has a uh, MVVM, is a model view view model. So you can see the uh, what is this Vue.js is a uh, core library is focused on the view layer only. It's very easy to pick up and integrate with other libraries or existing project, blah, blah, blah. So let's get started. So we need to install Node.js. Why we need to install Node.js? Because the project is some, sometimes is embed on your NPM, NPM, which means is not project manager. So you need to install it from this website. So make sure you install on the like this one, but some uh, JS or the latest needs to do this, but not all. But I recommend for this because these websites are recommend for users to install this. So I will download that. Okay, the download is finished, so we need to open the file installations. So I open it. <laughs> so if you don't know about Node.js, Node.js is uh, JavaScript runtime is the this one, blah, blah, blah. There is some uh, places we need to go with uh, doing script on the uh, backend sites. And as you can see, JavaScript uh, usually code on your uh, client server, but this Node.js can also do on the backend server or uh, server side projects. So we need to install this Node.js. So we do click next and it agree this uh, terms of terms of license. And I will change because the directory is, I don't like the default one. So, need to uh, place this on the new Node.js. So, you can do whatever you want on your file installation direction, destination. And this will, I would install the entire feature because, yeah, sometimes there's some package you uh, missed that you are really unwanted that so I will make it uh, all of these uh, custom setups or entire feature will be installed so click next and we will install this node.js okay the installation is finished so we need to go uh, click that finish so open your command prompt, just type cmd and you can check to npm-v to check the installation is installed. So the not npm version is uh, 2.15.9. If you are above or below me, that's okay. Just follow this tutorial if you want it. But if some uh, version is error, so you need to uh, make sure you're same as mine. The same is is four sixty or four six one. So so I need to open my uh, my Laravel installation. So we need to go to F directory. Got cd hello world. So we need to npm install inside of that. 
because I need to my uh, Laravel is also embedded with FuGS, so uh, yeah, it, it got to be more interesting for this. So uh, the installation is complete, so don't mind with the gits. So yeah, sometimes uh, Laravel needs to do on the git. So yeah, I will start it for uh, install for Node.js, a uh, few GS. So there is just installation on that, so we need to look at it and do what I doing, and I will copy and do paste this one. So yeah, the installation is very long because. The NPM needs to connect to the cloud storage, so it will be needed for a download from the internet. So I think that is complete, but I need to check it out how to use. So we need to go to your project directory, so the F uh, Hello World and do not modules and the you food and do and copy in this and this guy right here you need to copy if, if there is two ways foo and foo.min the difference is foo is this guy uh, here is a development project js and the foo.min is for production so I recommend use this because for pr production purposes for because yeah you will need it for this and I will copy and do paste on the my public folder and do GS and uh, I already do have some food admin on the on my uh, research and I will do on the project uh, right now so let's go ahead I need to chls because I need to clear this one and I need to php artisan serve so because since I come and promise uh, cleared my php uh, path so I need to set up my path first uh, path cxmpp php so I can do php artisan surf yes the development is started I need to open my uh, add-on project Yeah, it's very long because, yeah. And I need to go to my example on the login page. And, but I need to make a new one. I think this is not really used right now. So, yeah, just I need to embed this file. It says HTML is script do a uh, double single quotes and go into your public fo folders go to inside the GS so you can see this guy right here so let me close this I need to uh, input the directory and its files foo.min.js and I need to do some this guy and for a uh, few usage you just only use new foo just put your elements inside of this I need to define the elements one because I need to do on the roots the diff id is uh, else 
ELS just uh, initialization for process so you can do whatever you want on the name and it to sense its ID and it to use uh, hash signs is else and need to look at on the documentation is very very important so I need to embed this guy just data is message hello foo don't forget to use semicolons on that and I need to embed this guy since it's rather fell you cannot use this guy because this double uh, brackets like this is only for Laravel, so you need to use uh, add signs and double like this. I need to use message. So I need to uh, open my projects. So localhost is 8000 is hello world. So I need to check my routes because I need to look at it. My uh, links is direct to what? Is hello world? I need to return view. Is at home is index. Sorry, not this home index go hello foo okay so okay hello foo is completed so how about we need to another one is I need to bind this and do a copy on the only the text science we need to learn just do minimalize or copy paste is a new date and need to check back on this documentations so you need to go is pen fee bind title is message span I will do on the test so let's see how it goes is test and over your mouse for a second to see my dynamic bond title this page on new date I think oh, okay so I'm very wrong on this guy just look at this then you can see you loaded this page on set October 22 2016 so yeah that is for today's video for interact introduction with the Fuji S so the reason I need to do this because lots of websites using uh, JavaScripts for user interactions so it will be more more eye-catching when uh, user from uh, models like uh, bootstrap and also when user from uh, buttons 
And what is a uh, events uh, will prompt to? So sorry for my English because I'm very struggling right now. And thank you guys for watching. If and if you guys like my videos, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and put the thumbs up on my videos. And check out my Facebook page and my Twitter account. Make sure you follow, like them. I will put my social media links in this video description down below. I will see you guys next video on tomorrow. See you soon. Bye bye for now. Stay tuned.